County Executive Kathy Dahlkamp are holding her final COVID press conference this afternoon. These briefings starting more than a year and a half ago when the pandemic began. Chelsea Swift joins us now in the control room with the latest on the local COVID numbers we just told you about and the final update of the year, including what Kathy Dahlkamper is worried about. Chelsea. Sean, that's right. As you mentioned, since the pandemic began, 636 Erie County residents have died of COVID. Local hospitals reporting two recent deaths were those uh, who were unvaccinated and in their 30s. Since the first case of COVID-19 was reported in Erie County in March of 2020, County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper has held frequent press conferences to address the pandemic. 636 Erie County residents have died of COVID since March. The county executive says she's disappointed in the county's vaccination rate. I um, really thought we would do much better here, and I think we've tried um, a multitude of um, efforts to increase that vaccination rate. Um, and we're going to continue to work on that. Erie County's vaccination rate is lower than the state's and other counties across the Commonwealth that have their own health departments. One medical expert says vaccinations are an effective way to stop the spread of COVID-19. It's an easily spread virus and you can't always predict who's going to get the sickest. So the fact that you're in your 20s or in your 30s doesn't prevent you from potentially getting bad pneumonia and dying. The president of St. Vincent Hospital says two unvaccinated patients in their 30s have recently died. Unfortunately, AHN St. Vincent did have a couple notable deaths at the same time, uh, two pa patients in their 30s, and both were unvaccinated. Very, very sad. Uh, clearly concerned about their families. Dr. Clark says this time last year, St. Vincent was averaging 54 COVID patients a day. This year, they are seeing about 57. Clearly, there's a lot we could do um, and improvement we, that we could gain from getting more people vaccinated. The health department continues to hold vaccination clinics and testing opportunities. For more information about where these are happening, head to our website, yourerie.com. Sean. Chelsea Swift reporting in the control room tonight.